Hey everyone, how's it going? Um, in this video, I'm going to show you how you can get an M32 really easily by the end of wave one in Icebreaker. So, when you start off, you start off as a demo. I mean, I guess you don't have to, but this is just what I did. I start off as a demo, and so I get the demo started weapons, but within the first 10 seconds of the game, I change myself over to a Berserker. And so now I have all the abilities of a Berserker with the weapons of a demo. I usually like to do that. Now the first step is to actually get all the Zeds behind you. So this is the path I take. Um, I try not to kill any Zeds as long as they don't get in my way. But in this map, specifically that hand cannon, and there's other place where a katana always spawns so frequently that it's actually uh, part of the plan. So the plan to get enough money to buy the M32 so quickly is to just keep running back to those two spots and drop them off at the trader. But first you gotta not get blocked off by clots. So like that. <laughs> you don't want that to happen. So, But you don't want to run too fast either because if you are a berserker and you run around the path that I'm about to do at full speed, you actually will get there before it spawns. So you have to kill a few seconds um, while you're kiting these zeds. So, but this is a path I took in the beginning just to get the clots behind me. And once they're like soundly behind you, you can pretty much run a mostly full speed. Oh, there's a clot there, so I turn around. But basically, this is like, if you could think of it, the start of it. So, you now back behind me, I picked up the hand cannon and and then I'm on my way to pick up the katana and your, your trader will be in different spots so I will show you where two possible trader spots are the other one. and so your path may vary a little bit but this will be the path you take if your trader is one of those two spots so this is where the katana spawns um, all the time so there's that spot right there I got katana oh you can't turn there anyway uh, this is and then the key is to just keep running in a giant circle around the map because unlike other maps this has so many interconnections and the Z pathways are kinda messed up. You'll see that in this room there's a trader right there and you could have time to drop him off there if that was a trader but since it is not you know I'll just go to my original trader I'm just following the arrow I'm going oh where the heck's the trader but after you play this map a couple of times you'll um, know the three or four trader spots and be able to follow the arrow and be like, oh, that's where the trader is. Anyway, as I was talking about the uh, kiting path, basically you want to do a giant path because Zeds don't follow the trail exactly as you put it. So, like, uh, they will be coming upstairs. You've never gone up just because it's closer to you. And uh, you can't guarantee that they will walk by the way you want them to. So basically you gotta make a big huge arc in the map and then they will follow you generally like that. So if you try to make the circle too small you will actually run back into the few strayers actually not just a few, a lot of strayers. Anyway so here this is pretty much the path that will be taken for the next uh, I don't know, just 10 minutes I guess. 10 minutes of me just running around picking up the hand cannon and the katana and then looping back around so it's like if you turn around right now you know and go back you will run into all those zeds and, and I don't want that so basically I just keep going in this direction even though that's not where the trader is um, I'm just making that huge loop around just so I can run back to the trader and during my loop around I'll drop him off yeah so Basically, just keep doing this until you think you have enough katanas and hand cannons. Actually, uh, if you are confident enough, I think you don't even have to be a berserker. You could probably do this as a demo. That way, your hand cannons and katana will sell at the trader for a whole lot more. Plus, because you're a demo, you actually um, get the M32 cheaper, so you don't have to do this for as many times as I did. But I like doing it as a berserker because you can't be grabbed by clots, and it's a lot easier to get it started. Because there's so many tight corridors in the original path I take in the beginning that one grab 
and if you aren't able to clear off the rest of them, you're pretty much dead. So, as a berserker, you have a better chance of starting out. Anyway, uh, this I will probably speed up the rest of the footage. Maybe stop by at a few points to give you a key points. But yeah, that's essentially the path I take. Oh, this is where I decide to have fun and divert from what I usually do. And I was like, ooh, I've never been here before. Oh, wait, I have. Well, anyway, now I know what happens when you go down here this way. It's like when you go down and you'll see the katana spawns again. Uh, sometimes if you actually run full speed it won't be spawned and I'll show you that eventually. But yeah, well that's pretty much all I did the first wave. Just stock up on my weapons. Yeah, that's cool. Anyway, uh, enjoy the rest of the footage I guess. Actually, right here, I like to make a point. Um, here, I diverted a bit too much, and so the clots behind me actually got closer than they should have. So, I'm going to show you what bad thing can happen if your path is blocked off. So here, I pick up the hand cannon again, and I try to get back on my normal path. And I go, oh, maybe I can squeeze through here. Nope, I, never mind, I can't. Ah, and so I run this way. So, yeah, I just have to say that's a close call. Don't let that happen. Keep them far away from you, especially if you're heading down into the tight corridors of the underground. Go! So this is what I was talking about when you just make a beeline and don't purposely uh, take your time like turn around and take a swipe at a few zeds like right here oh my goodness no katana I got the hand cannon but I don't have a katana and so here I kill just a few more seconds of time you know, I'm just messing with the clots and then there's the sword right there so just spending those few seconds doing some other random crap and then you should be able to get the hand cannon and katana every time you pass by. So that's why I'm purposely just having fun. You know, you gotta have fun while doing something as tedious as this. <laughs> Now comes the time to sell all that crap that you've collected.
So here I just decided to spend a few more bucks selling that katana and buying my golden one. But, you know, it's just preference. <laughs> it really doesn't do anything. And that's how you do it by the end of wave one, have an M32. Oh shit! Where can I make? Uh oh, uh oh. No! How did I survive that? Jeez. 